Delaney and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Irish Football Fan TV, my name is Phil Moore. Uh, as always, I'm joined by Paul Nealon and Steve. And today we have Nick from uh, Bar Steelers and he also contributes to Pundit Arena. Thanks for coming on. Bye. Anyway, Bye. so uh, we'll get into it straight away. So the obviously the Man City we talk a bit about them first. Absolutely sensational. Another uh, victory, lots of goals, another clean sheet. Mm. Uh, question I'll be asking is can they be stopped? Oh, yeah, either one of them like um would you say Pep has found mm. his system? Um I think he's found mm. I think he's found the players for his system um with what he's got at City. Um if you look at it now he's kinda obviously he started the season with Jesus and Aguero up front. But at the weekend, it was Sterling on the right and Sané on the left. And it gave him a little bit more width. It made him just look a little bit more dangerous. And he's got then De Bruyne and Silva in the middle with Fernandinho holding. I don't think ideally he wants Fernandinho to yeah, be the holding player. I think sure. he probably wants Gundogan to play in there. Because he thinks that Premier League teams probably aren't as good offensively as a Real Madrid or whatever were in his Barcelona days. Where he doesn't necessarily need a bus gets to sit really, really deep. Um, but they look... They look like they're just going to dispatch of teams like Palace with absolute ease yeah, for the entire season. Forward, um, yeah, frightening And Leroy Sané was unbelievable at the weekend. Yeah, he just Nick, was completely unplayable. Yeah, Nick, how how good, in your opinion, is Sané? Like, obviously, our yeah. United fans, you might have a bit of bias yeah. against them. Oh, no, it would be nice to them. Yeah, <laughs> um, no, decent player. I think he got two assists at the weekend. He got a goal there as well, so... Um, no decent player growing into the Premier League because you see a lot of guys struggling to adjust the Bundes er, from Bundesliga into Premier League. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he seems to play across the midfield and all like Guardiola likes to play kind of the wingers in the in the middle and he's kind of put him in the middle and put him out wide a little bit more. So no, he's he's taking a while to adjust, but he's looking the real part now. To be honest, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Pep said, um, I think it was today. He said that he he he, he wanted him out of the team uh, to be focused on like, some certain aspects of his game, but. Uh, I did call it in the summer. I said that him or Jesus may go on to be player of the season. So. Yeah, well, I think... So. It's a bit early to be saying that, but you know what I mean. Um, I think what you forget with Sané as well is that like, he's only been... Well, he made his professional debut not even two years ago. Yeah. He made his professional debut at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid and set up two goals in a win for Schalke and then had that incredible six months for Schalke and then went to City. So I think you're only really seeing him develop now into the player that he could be. I think we're probably only still seeing... 40-50% of what he could be with the right coaching and everything like that he's still, so athletic he's, he's so young, quick yeah. he's so good on the ball he only played minutes against Liverpool and, sure. yeah, and scored two yeah. goals yeah, yeah. and uh, obviously Raheem Sterling has four four goals now isn't it? I'm um, not having this I'm not, I'm not having this I, I think I think he's kind of I think he's proven proven his doubt as wrong this year like he's in the right places he's scoring goals you know yeah, yeah. like there might be tap-ins but Still not fifty million worth, but do you know what I, I mean. It, it, the market's I'm, crazy. Now, I'm not the one paying the money, so I don't really give a shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like fair play to him. He's doing well. I just hate him. I just, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, I just really just dislike him. There's so many better players in that squad. I just like I, when I see his little head popping up, and he scored against Everton as well. He so did score against hate. Everton. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of bitterness there. He does against these smaller teams though, against oh. the Palace who are struggling <laughs> and everything like that. The Palace are a smaller team. That's what you're Everton. No, no. So okay. go on, go we'll on. get on to that. <laughs> um, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, you 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 want to see him do it like yeah. against the Chelsea. Yeah, you, know, you want to see him create these opportunities and these outputs sure. for himself in big games, whereas he hasn't so far. This he hasn't so Ever. far really in his City career. Mm-hmm. I know he's had little flashes for yeah, five Ever or six games that last season, everything like that. He did a little bit this season. They they done well. You know, it's well resonant. He did. He scored mm-hmm. against City and stuff like that, and they were going for the league in fairness. Yeah, but he did also miss. Uh, Half all the chances for Liverpool in every game. Yeah, like, yeah. You put true, him one on one with the goalkeeper. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that he, he did. He did perform against yeah, the yeah. other teams and uh, for four Liverpool. And, but he hasn't done it for City. I do agree. True. But yeah. I'm just giving you yeah. both, both did, points. Yeah, he just does it. He does it in flashes, and it's kind of can you really buy into? Yes, he's had a good start to this season, yeah. but will he still be doing this in December or January because he's proven that he can't yeah so it's far. just it's just keeping it consistent yeah. Yeah, if he's course. still doing it in January then you have to really start talking about being a proper player for City yeah I agree and also uh, Aguero is now one short of tying Eric Brooks record of uh, 177 goals 
it's fairly outstanding for how long he's been at the club yeah. anyway. So he's not gonna do it, not. I don't think it's gonna happen, but <laughs> 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 he'll no, never no. score again. He'll never so score. Yeah, no, he'll just Break stop. Break <laughs> done. Breaking news: Aguero <laughs> retires. Yeah. Roy Keane out of retirement, <laughs> but another promising Manchester City <laughs> player out of work. Uh, uh, I suppose we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk about yeah. the. Uh, we'll talk about their neighbours. Uh, United, anyway. They've been extremely effective without being brilliant. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like obviously they have been scoring goals and stuff, but yeah, like there's finally a bit of fluidity there, a bit of balance. Um, you know, I think Mourinho, I think preseason it looked like he was going to play three at the back and kind of go down the kind of Chelsea route and the City route, but he's, yeah. he's gone for the four two three one. Um, well, sorry, more the four. Uh, yeah, four two three one. Yeah, and uh, you know Jones is coming at the back and by and that's a nice little kind of axis work. Yeah, they, they look a, they look a good pair. Yeah, and, he, and even like you know he's playing two wingers at full back. He's playing well Valencia. Look, he's converted now, but I mean. Um, I mean, Young's come in at left back and he's done fine. So again, a bit of fluidity, a bit of balance. Fellaini's come in, he's looked pretty comfortable coming yes. in for Pablo, which is strange. Um, you know, he looks, he looks like the Fellaini that was playing for Everton when he was comfortable. Yeah, yeah. You know, allowed to get yeah, that a bit, board. A bit of I, confidence, I, yeah, a bit of confidence. Yeah, and he showed like showed the weekend. He cleared noise from off the line as well. So and you have to yeah. be you have to be happy with Lukaku anyway. Yeah, I mean, look, he's um, I think he's the perfect fit for United. Like no offense, I mean, it's just it looked like he was gonna. I go, go somewhere, yeah, yeah but uh, no, it's working out well, so I can't complain. Long I just, uh, I just feel like United and City haven't really been tested. Um, I really don't like. I know okay. they, they, yeah. they played Everton yeah. and City like, got one they had that, they had that scare against Stoke, where Stoke yeah. could have nicked it. Obviously, the game made that save. Yeah, um, and Phil Jones had a Phil Jones game, didn't he? Where everyone was like, <laughs> "Oh, wait, no, he's actually not a good player." He's yeah, still yeah, just yeah. he reminds me of Phil Jones. Yeah, still, he course. has to give you that little reminder every few weeks. No, but if, you, if you look at it, if you look at the, their fixtures, like they haven't really been tested. Like I'd like to see if Lukaku can do it against the Chelsea or Spurs. Yeah, well, we'll see, I, would, yeah. I would like to see City get tested as well. So I don't really feel like they have either. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see that soon enough. I'm sure. Um, I think uh, though, which is <laughs> it feel might feel bad for to say towards City fans and Chelsea fans or whatever but he's probably didn't support them before 2004 anyway <laughs> um, <laughs> but this is except Matt. for Sean Corley and uh, Keane but, uh, this is um, this United's like title to live because this looks like a Jose Mourinho team now and this looks like a team who are just going to win a yeah. lot of games yeah. that think... they have no right to win they're going to look ugly they're not going to look good in games but the, yeah. somehow they're going to come out with a 1-0 win or a 2-1 win yeah. and yeah. just grind I, I, think, I think Mourinho has a spot <coughs> with the substitutes yeah. like he just gets it right and just it's just a different type well, that comes on there's more energy and they, they just blitz uh, teams in the front Anthony the Martial game. looks like the player he was in his first season absolutely yeah. the the better off the bench the yeah. better yeah. off the bench so, yeah. and uh, we also had another handshake incident what is up? What, what's the story with Mourinho and he handshakes he caught it off Mark Hughes I think like he, he, <laughs> well, he basically made it a business to shake every single player yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, it's every single person on the Southampton bench yeah. I wouldn't doubt that I'd have washed yeah. my hands and gone for a chemical shower <laughs> after shaking all those Hands, but yeah, <laughs> look like you're fighting this time to, to kind of get up yeah, into the stance, but uh, interesting, you know, bit of class. So he's, think, so, he's but, some uh, character, like he, he really is. I think it he's was more sarcasm than that. <laughs> I think it was more towards the referee gonna, than that, even like, giving him the benefit of the day. I was gonna say about so. Lukaku, was uh, or Mourinho, sorry, he brought in Lukaku and he will get you the goals against the likes of these teams, like the Southamptons, like the uh, Crystal Palaces, and all these teams, everything as well. Um, but he will get you the goals against these type of teams that United weren't scoring against last season and we're getting a lot of draws out of it, you know. So yeah. I think he's, he's bought well in that sense. And then he still has Latan to come in kind of after January. It's like a new yeah. signing. Yeah. The, other thing with, um, the other thing with it as well for United is, yes, Lukaku scores goals against the smaller teams for fun and he's done it his entire career. They have a player in their side, even without Latan, who scores against big teams and throughout his young career has always done it and that's Rashford yeah. Yeah. in the big yeah. games against big teams Marcus Rashford scores goals against him he might not get you 20 goals a season at this stage in his career but you put him in against Chelsea City Liverpool Arsenal he scores goals yeah, and absolutely. so you've now got the blend of they struggled to beat these smaller teams last mm-hmm. year and didn't get the goals mm-hmm. against them Lukaku's now getting them and I think Rashford at this stage can probably be relied on to get a good few goals against the bigger teams yeah. mm-hmm. I'd agree 